quarter-final day in Vienna and the morning after the night before. With home favourite Dominic Team beaten by Richard Gasquet, it was all eyes on Alexander Zverev as the number one seed chased a place in the semis. He took on the only other seed left in the draw, Joe Wilfred Songa. And after Zverev raced into a three-love lead, Songa fought back to force a tiebreak, and that's when the match really took off. so far. Zverev couldn't have done any more. Listen to the reaction from the crowd. That set up set point and although he didn't take it, Songa wasn't much longer in sealing the set. There it is. Songa strikes first. Zverev fought back strongly, breaking his opponent straight away, but the Frenchman came roaring back. Oh, he's made it. What a shot. Songa now had the momentum and he was about to strike the crucial blow. Well, there he did come in on the Songa backhand and uh, as good a shot as Songa's played. And shortly afterwards, Songa ensured he would be the last seed standing in Vienna as the tournament favourite crashed out. There it is, it's all over, and Songa continues his rich vein of form. Zverev cuts a disconsolate figure there. Earlier in the day, Britain's Carl Edmund was aiming to reach a first ever 500 semi-final. He faced Jan Leonard Struth of Germany, and it was Edmund who got off to a flyer, making light work of the first set. That's nice. And the second one started in a similar vein. But after gaining the break early in the set, Edmund couldn't serve it out. He'd get another chance, though. That's yeah. class. Super double-hander. Just breaking the pattern of the rally. So, a second opportunity for Edmund to reach the last four. And this time, he made no mistake. There it is. It's been a super week for Carl Edmund, and so it continues. And here he's through to the semi-final, taking out Jan Leonard Struff. Diego Schwartzman made the better start in his first meeting with Philip Kohlschreiber. But after failing to serve out the opening set, he was broken again, and his opponent had no trouble in going ahead. Excellent. Into the second, and after a tight set, it was Kohlschreiber who had the opportunity to serve for a place in the semis. But he couldn't get over the line, and it went to a tie-break. Absolutely outstanding. Once again, the backhand and an impossible angle. Despite squandering two match points, it would prove third time lucky for Kohlschreiber. Has he found the line? Yes, he has. Philip Korschreiber into the semi-final here in Vienna for the fourth time. The last quarter-final was an all-French clash between Luca Puy and Richard Gasquet. And after a break apiece, the first set went to a tie-break, and it was Puy in control. Well played. And now he's got two set points. The second set was one-way traffic as Puy fired winner after winner past his demoralised opponent. Oh, that's wonderful. Puy in full flight there, in control of that exchange. And after an hour and a half, Puy put his compatriot out of his misery. It's away, and Luca Puy gets the job done. So that completed the semi-final lineup in the Erstebank Open. Edmund against Puy, and Songa versus Kohlschreiber. <laughs>